Hello everyone, are you planning to walk in Dubai, one of the popular destinations for expatriates? This video is going to introduce you the culture of Dubai briefly and demonstrate the challenges most expats may face when working in Dubai. Dubai has quickly developed into a modern city in the past few decades with sky-high building and high technology. Attracted many international corporations to do business here. We hope you enjoy this video. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are happy to have Dilis with us. Hi, Dilis. Hi, Megan. Dilis has been an expat in Dubai for five years. Today she is going to give us some ideas about working in Dubai. Yeah, working overseas is very exciting experience. I'm going to give you a few ideas about working in Dubai. Dubai is a highly cosmopolitan city. Uh, if you now, if you are new to the Arabian um, country business world, then there's a few points you have to bear in mind. First of all, is the clothing. Lightweight summer clothing is can be is suitable for all year round, uh, because, uh, but you may need a jacket or sweater in the winter time. The winter in Dubai is ranging from December to March. Summer is from June to September. Uh, the average temperature in January is about 24 degrees Celsius. In July, which is the hottest temperature, could be reach about 48 degrees Celsius. Because of this extremely high temperature, it could be um, a bit delay in the logistic uh, business because of due to the high, relatively high temperature, uh, it could be delayed. So any business involved logistics, uh, bear in mind, bear this in mind. And the other point I want to share with you is the social and business hour in Dubai. It's about 40 to 48 hours per week. Uh, in private sector, the business hours around 8.30 to 9 a.m. to 5.30 to 6 p.m. In government sector, it could be start from 7.30 in the morning and finish at 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, but bear in mind again, in Ramadan, which is the fasting season in for the Muslim culture, uh, working day is reduced to six hours a week and is legally applied to all the staff. Of course, some company only apply this to Muslim. And the third point is business conducted in on the basis of personal relationship and trust, mutual trust. It is vitally important to build on this. So in other words, if you have um, successful personal relationship with one of the Arabian family or community, they could you have you can, you can guarantee you have a successful business in Dubai. And companies are often a family affair with ultimate decision maker is the head of the family. And good manners and courtesies are very important to do business in Dubai because you show respect to their culture. And you have to be patient when going to a meeting because some, you have to be punctual to attend the meeting. But sometimes they may make you wait a little bit because things always happen in Dubai. So you have to bear that in mind and do not rush the host because you, they, they will think they want to do business with you. They didn't mean if they are late, they didn't mean to disrespect you. but. It just they got different priorities, so they may still interest to do business with you, but you have to be very patient and do not rush them. And hospitality is one of the features in Arabian country. Uh, they love to invite you to go to their home or restaurant to have lunch and dinner together. Uh, at that meantime, you will talk about business matters as well. But the main point in these meeting, lunch meetings, they want to build a relationship with you and want to see what a person you are. So it's very good to attend these invitation and try not to reject them. Um, that's it the, at the moment. Okay, thanks Dilys. Thanks for the helpful, helpful information. Now let's watch the following scenario that management may face in Dubai.
Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my friend. This is not right. Islam is the official religion of the United Arab Emirates. More than 80% of the population are non-citizens. Nearly all of the country's citizens are Muslims. We both know both Muslims have lots of habits are different from non-religions. Just like the last section, Muslims can't hug with any man unless it's their dad, brother, or any other close family. Now, let's show you the decent manner. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my friend. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's your flight? Oh, all right. Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, I was looking for uh, to do the formal business meeting with you tomorrow. And by the way, I hope I can do a successful business with you. Yeah, me too. Could we have the pleasant cooperation? This lady is my assistant, Dilis. Hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Muhammad. The same. Muslim cannot have any physical contact with any woman either. This lady is my assistant, uh, Dilis. Nice to meet you, Mr. Muhammad. Nice to meet you. Uh, I got a gift from China for you, mm -hmm. Dilis. This is our famous Chinese one, Mr. Muhammad. This is for you. Gifts are not necessary but appreciated. If you do give a gift, the gift has to avoid alcohol, perfume containing alcohol, pork, pig skin products, knives, toy dogs or gifts that picture dogs. Oh. I've got a gift from China. It is this is our famous Chinese tea, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you. Oh, that was lovely. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Uh, during your stay, if you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know, okay? So, enjoy your stay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Muhammad. Ellen, do you want something to eat? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Something to drink? Oh yes, please. Okay. Coffee or coke? Yeah, uh, I like the coke, yeah. please. Let's check. Oh. Hey, 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 no, 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 what are you doing here? It, it, it's the no, drink no, something. No, 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 you can drink in it. Remember? You, can, you, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you know, we have a god that you need to respect it here. Oh my god. Remember that? Remember that? You cannot Wait, what happened? We just want to drink something, but you she's what about you do you eat it? Oh, it's, I need to say, it's Ramadan. You shouldn't drink or eat in front of Muslims. It's impolite. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, you should respect the culture. You should go to somewhere else. Okay. okay. So, you hold. Okay. Uh, you hold. You know the Ramadan? No, I don't know. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendars. Muslims observe this as a month of strict fasting. They need to fast from dawn to sunset. Okay, let's sorry. say sorry to Anita. Yeah. Okay. Anita? We are so sorry about, sorry that. about that. No, it's okay, okay. You don't know it before, but no more, eh? Huh? No more, eh? Huh? Okay, okay huh? no more, no uh, more. Thank you, thank you. Let's find a place to so, next room to eat the coke. Yes. I think it's time to pray. Time to pray? Okay. Excuse me. Can you tell me what's the name of the Muslim? Yeah. 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 Ye
tell you what's down, please. I'm walking. Hello, okay. Keep quiet for me, please. Hello, okay. Keep quiet for me, please. Hello, okay. Keep quiet for me, please. Keep quiet for me, please. Prayer is one of the five pillars of Islam and the fundamental act to perform correctly. It is believed that communication with Allah will bring the pray for life and bring them courage. They have to pray five times a day, no matter where they are. Please. Hello, Anita. Hello. I've got something to report. It's about Mohammed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every afternoon when we are working, he's praying nearby us. Uh, you mean in the office? Yeah, in the mm -hmm. office. And mm -hmm. when not one us, we can't concentrate on our work. Mm -hmm. We can't finish our work on time. It's a big problem for us. Um. So, I see. Um, well, actually, um, about that problem uh, about the prayer, we've already considered about it for a long time. And if you don't mind, um, we can call Mohammed now and let's have a talk, okay? Sure. Okay. Mm. Hello, Mohammed. Hello. 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 Please. Something wrong? Um, yes, I think we got a little bit problem. Mm -hmm. um, it's about your prayer every afternoon. Yeah. Um, as we know, you are a um, Muslim. You have to do prayer. Yeah, it's my religion. I have to do it. Every yeah, we respect your religion. Um, well, it's uh, the mistake of our company, so because um, we don't have the prayer room so far. Yep. But don't mm -hmm. worry, we're going to offer you a prayer room next week. Mm -hmm. um, but as you pray every afternoon in the office, um, it makes your colleague in the whole Canada country and it works. So, okay. um, well, um, but don't worry, next week you yeah, have a prayer room. Okay. We offer you one. Alright, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I really appreciate it for that. And uh, by the way, I'm sorry to uh, pray in the afternoon to uh, influence your work. So I really apologize for that. Oh, never mind. It, it's not your fault. It, it's, about the, it's about the office. Um, never mind. Okay, no problem. So uh, thank you for holding this meeting. Hi, welcome. Tomorrow, uh, would you like to go shopping with me? You know, um, I want to buy a purse for the party next week, but it's really hard to decide green color or the black color. Can you have me choose one? Yeah, I'd like to go with you, but I think tomorrow is Friday. Yes, Friday. Uh, we still have to walk tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, Friday. Oh, I've got it. Sorry. <laughs> this is the first week to work here, right? Um, you know, in Dubai, our off day for weekend is Friday and Saturday, oh. so we'll be free tomorrow. Okay. In my country, our weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Mm. So, um, how about tomorrow afternoon? Yes. I'll go with you. That's cool. Okay, that's Still great. Shopping. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Maham. Hey, how are I'm you? very happy to meet you and have the opportunity mm -hmm. to do the business with you. Yeah, uh, I'm very delighted to be a, a partner as in this project as well. Yeah. So far, uh, hey, Mr. Yen, um, are you uh, you've been here for a few days now, right? Uh, yeah. So, uh, are you enjoying your stay in Dubai? Is it fine or something exciting or interesting? Um, the Dubai is the very exciting place for me, but only one thing I'm not get used to. 
that is the Dubai sweater. Yeah, it's very it? dry, right? Yeah, that is very dry and very, very hot for me. This behavior is inappropriate in Dubai. Dress code is very important in Dubai business culture. Revealing clothing is not allowed, especially women. Women should always cover it from arm to knee. Men should wear a shirt. Due to the hot weather, the time may not be necessary. I'm very sorry, Mr. Muhammad. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, don't worry. That's fine, because uh, this is a very important uh, project for us. So uh, we have a extremely proud to be your partner, so as you know. And we're in a good terms of uh, you know, uh, the relationship with our local government. And uh, we also have the, uh, uh, the, the resources as well. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Yuan, may I know how will your company be part of this project? Yeah, as you know, we are a well-known international company and we have a good partnerships with the government or the opportunity in the world. So we can help you to extend to the global market. Do not cross the legs when sitting. Showing the bottom of a shoe or foot is offensive and implied in Arab culture. Always sit with your foot down. So, so, sorry about this, Mr. Muhammad. It's alright, Mr. Yen. Uh, the, the plan was excellent, so I uh, hope that we can uh, have a successful cooperation. Alright? Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much. Okay? Yeah. I think so. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. That is, what is the uh, uh, appointment times for Mr. Muhammad? Let me check. Um, it should be two o'clock today, yeah. Two o'clock time. Ah, yeah. Miss okay. Muhammad, it's late. We just need to wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Good afternoon, so, uh, Mr. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, human uh, resource department, okay, I'll be there, I'll be there. Okay, I'll just, I need to go to the human resource department, so I'll okay. be back in a second, okay? All right, okay. All right, I'll just come in now, so I'll just wait for... Hi, Mr. Yuan. Oh, you're good, huh? Yeah. Okay, so please have a seat. Uh, let's continue our uh, project. Hey, plan. Mr. Hume, we've got an appointment with Mr. <coughs> at 4 o'clock. Mr. Hume, go now, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, yes. So, so uh, we need to go to another place. Uh, I have another meeting with my partner. Uh, so, we need to go. Yes, but uh, the appointment should be held today. It's supposed to be talk the plans and everything and specific information with today, right? I just come back from the human resource department, so. So, uh, shall we uh, shall we change another time to continue our meeting? If it's possible, that would be better for me. I think. Uh, should I can. To be scheduled, uh, Mr. People appointment. If it's possible, that would be very, very good to me to help the uh, appointment. Should we cancel? I'll call Mr. People and see what he say. Okay. Okay. So please cancel the uh, Mr. Mr. People's meeting. Okay. So, okay, Mr. Muhammad. All right, no problem. Let's Mr. continue the meeting. Okay. Let's continue our meeting. Okay. Be patient in doing business in Dubai. You need to attend the meeting on time. 
However, the host may keep you waiting before or during your meeting. Never rush the host. The upfront, hard hitting approach is generally not welcome. At the end of this video, Dilys, do you have any additional advice to our audience? Yeah, uh, to enable you to work in managing across the culture, there's a few competencies you need, like a good interpersonal skills, to build good relationship with the Arabic culture is very essential to do the business. Uh, also, uh, you have to learn, it's better if you can learn some greetings, simple greetings like good morning, hello in Arabic because this will show uh, your business partner like you are very interested in their culture and show the respect as well. Also, the motivation that you want to leave abroad to maintain the cultural curiosity so you are very interested in to learn other culture then you there will be less the impact about cultural shock or homesickness also you have to be flexible and tolerant about uncertainty because something may be unexpected to happen but you have to be more flexible to adapt those circumstances uh, finally, you can be more patient and respect to other culture because uh, as we demonstrate in the video, uh, you need more patience like in the business equity. So um, it will be, if you want a successful business in Dubai, these are the competency you may need in Dubai. So that's all. Thank, Thank you, you Dilys. Hope this video is helpful to you. You can also read more information on our country guide. Thanks for your watching.